Okay, so finally we make it to this last question on the paper. Here we have uh, John uh, wanting to encourage more birds to come into the park near his house each day. Starting on day one, he puts bird food out and observes the birds for one hour. He records the maximum number of birds. So we, um, we've got a differential equation and we are asked to find the general solution of it. Right, so we start with dn by dt is equal to 0.1n 1 minus n over 50. Uh, we have to solve this equation, so we're going to separate the variables and integrate. We need to get everything involving n over to the left. So this is 1 over um, n times 1 minus n over 50. dn by dt is 0 0.1. And then if we integrate, we've got 1 over n, 1 minus n over 50 dn is the integral of 0.1 dt. Now, um, ah, it's partial fractions, so we're going to have to do something with this, aren't we? So let's work on that separately. 1 over n, 1 minus n over 50, is a over n plus b over 1 minus n over 50. Rearrange that to get 1 is a times 1 minus n over 50 plus b n. We need to choose some strategic values of n. Zero leaps out at us as an option. So that gives us, oh, not zero. One is equal to a. And if n is, what would that need to be? 50. We've got one is zero a plus 50 b. So b is 1 50th. Giving us that, the integral we started with up here, or the equation we started with, is the integral of 1 over n plus 1 over 50 times 1 minus n over 50. dn is the integral of 0.1 dt. Um, right, I'm going to tidy this up a little bit before I integrate it. So this is 1 over 50 minus n dn is the integral of 0.1 dt. Let's integrate that. Natural log of n plus the natural log, oh, minus the natural log of 50 minus n, because we've got the minus as being the coefficient of n in there, is 0.1t plus c. Um, that's not what we're looking for yet, so we're going to have to do some work on that. We need n as the subject. What have we got? Log laws tells us this is n over 50 minus n is 0.1t plus c, so n over 50 minus n is e to the 0.1t plus c. Um, now that's not quite how they dealt with the constant, so let's think what we can do with that. Now we remember, I think, that that is the same as e to the 0.1t times e to the c, because you would add the powers. So that is a e to the 0.1t. Aha. So n over 50 minus n is a e to the 0.1t. Uh, we still need to make n the subject. n equals 50 minus n a e to the 0.1t. So it is 50 a e to the 0.1t minus a n e to the 0.1t. Collect together like terms. We've got n lots of 1 minus a e to the 0.1t is 50a e to the 0.1t. So n is 50a e to the 0.1t over 1 minus a e to the 0.1t. We are still not quite there, but notice that where we're aiming for has an e to the minus 0.1t in it. So let's divide top and bottom by 1 over e to the 0.1t. Multiply by 1 over e to the 0.1t to give us n is 50a 1 over e to the 0.1t minus a or 50a e to the minus 0.1t minus a. Was that what we wanted? Uh, it was, except I have a, a minus instead of a plus. What have I done? 
Um, do, 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 do. Oh, if I rearrange that, that becomes a plus there, doesn't it? I'm adding that to both sides. So that's a plus. There we go. A neat little illustration there that sometimes when you're aiming for an answer, you make a mistake and then go back and spot it and sort it out. So, um, so there we go. That's that first bit. Using this model, determine the maximum number of birds that John would expect to observe at any given moment in the long term. So this is the number of birds. Uh, part two, as t gets very large, e to the minus 0.1t approaches zero, doesn't it? Because we're uh, one over something very large. So that is n approaches 50a over a. So we would approach 50. Uh, maximum, yeah, so the maximum would be 50. Part three. Um, write down one possible refinement for this model. Um, Okay, so uh, we're trying to think, ooh, how could we make the model an improvement? Um, something about how we're recording, we're using continuous data, maybe that's part four, using continuous data. Um, and actually it would be more appropriate to use uh, some kind of discrete data in this. Um, it doesn't distinguish between different types of birds. Um, is there a, a guaranteed maximum? Uh, the model uh, treats the birds as continuous data. So we could use a discrete model. I don't know, that might be a good answer. Uh, part four, um, write down one way in which the John's model is not appropriate. Well, that's the same kind of thing, isn't it? Uh, discrete continuous data. Hang on, what are they looking for in the answer? Um, yeah, so yeah, model that only integer values um, and the continuous not discrete is how it's inappropriate. So that would have been a better way of giving the answer. Should we copy those across? Um, there we go. I, to be to be honest, I'm not sure. It's a great question at the very end of this, but um, gives you an idea. There we go. Um, right, and that's the question done. Not a terribly satisfactory last question, but. Uh, that first part was good, wasn't it? And that's maths.